Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about basal insulin. I'm here with my good friend and colleague Jeremy Pettis. We both speak at TCOID a lot and we both see patients and we both talk to caregivers about this very topic. So we talk about adding basal insulin to people with type 2 diabetes who are already on other medications, most, most likely pills. And basal insulin is a flat, long-acting insulin and most caregivers will add it to their patient's regimen if the fasting blood sugars, the blood sugars first thing in the morning, are too high. And it's a very good regimen. We call it combination therapy, daytime pills, nighttime basal insulin. But Jeremy's going to tell you about the newer basal insulins where you don't really have to take it at bedtime. Yeah, you know, we actually have five basal insulins now, if I'm counting right. Um, and these two new ones that were just released or came out last year, Traceba and Tugeo, are really great basal insulins because they last all day long, they're very consistent, and they have very low rates of hypoglycemia. And because they are new, a lot of um, patients don't know about them, and even a lot of providers don't know about them. So if you're considering going on basal insulin or you're already on basal insulin, ask your provider if one of these newer um, insulins might be a good choice. Yeah, now normally, if you're sitting with your caregiver and they say, hey, Steve, your, your morning blood sugar is too high. I know you're on two or three oral medications. We're gonna start basal insulin and we're gonna start with a low dose, 10 or 20 units. But the thing that you need to know is most people need 40 to 70 units. And one of the big problems is they start with a low dose and they go up too slowly. That's why we are believers in patient self-titration. And many caregivers use this technique as well. And the purpose is for you to ratchet up your dose so that you actually can see an improvement in your morning blood sugars. And then overall your A1C will come down. We have special techniques that we teach doctors all the time. And we said, hey, let's tell the folks living with type 2 diabetes on basal and how to titrate their own. Yeah. So just like you said, I have patients that are on 33 units a day and they, they're they doing great. I have patients that are on a couple hundred units a day. And it's not about the, the, the amount of units, it's about getting your blood sugars where they need to be. So how do we do that? We start with something, let's say 20 units, that's a usual starting dose, and we titrate it based on your morning blood sugars. Our goal is to have you waking up between 90 and 130 every morning. So how do you do that? Well, take a look at the screen and you can see that basically we ask you make one unit changes every day. So if you wake up in the morning, you're a little low, you're less than 90, let's say you're you know 80 or 70s, decrease your, your dose by one unit that day. If you're in your sweet spot between 90 and 130, you found your range, stay there. And if you're over 130, increase by one unit. And do this every single day. So you start at 20 units, and maybe you'll spine by the time you get to 55, you're between 90 and 130, you're golden. And you've titrated to your dose. Yeah, and this scale isn't written in stone. This is kind of general for most people. You have to talk to your caregiver because you might be changing by two units, depending on your total dose. And you, your ranges, your upper and lower ranges may change as well. So it's really important that you don't just get out basal insulin if you're already on it and start titrating your own. You need to check with your caregiver for sure. We're just giving you suggestions on topics you can talk to your caregiver about. So that's pretty much the biggest pitfall is people go too slow. Well, I would say don't fear the needle. Insulin works. We've been using it for a long time. It's a natural hormone and it helps a lot of people get their blood sugars under control. If you need it, you need it. We have a lot more information in this book with this goofy looking guy on the cover. Hey, look at that author. Yeah, taking control of your diabetes. Hopefully you've heard of it. And uh, I think that's all we have for today, right? So long, long nation. nation.